What is Angular? Time me. You know HTML, right? What if instead of discrete elements like div and input, we could compose elements to make compound elements? For example, maybe a checkbox, a label, and a button is a to-do item. Maybe you could even define these composite elements, these components. Like one writes classes in object-oriented programming with constructors and inheritance and all that cool stuff. Of course, in HTML, elements have attributes and callbacks, so you'd want to be able to define all of that for your components as well. Maybe we could do that with something called inputs and outputs. That sounds good. You know what? These components should probably stand alone. We'll give them encapsulated style sheets. How are we going to deal with the underlying logic? We could write functions inside of our component classes, but that would make it harder to reuse. It would be better if our app functions were written in separate files independent from components. Those files should be called services because their purpose is to serve as the engine under the hood. But because services are independent entities, we gain the flexibility to inject them where we need them. <sighs> Wouldn't it be lovely if our framework could automatically handle instantiating and injecting these components? Whew. If it did, it would probably be my favorite feature. But wow, that would probably take a lot of files, right? I mean, is what we get worth the task of organizing it all? Well, maybe if we're smart about it. No, forget smart. Let's aim to be ingenious. Since most apps are divided into different sections, we'll give each section its own module. The purpose of the module is to load all of the files that are used in that section. In other words, the entire app is broken down into smaller and more manageable baby apps. When the user navigates to that baby app, the module loads only the files that are used for that feature. In doing this, we accomplish two things. The code is better organized and it loads faster. We could even update the URL to reflect where we are and what files are loaded. That would enable us to use the forward and back buttons, and this is called routing. This idea, it already exists. It's called Angular. That's so cool. Want more information? 